Hi, I'm Paul, and I'm the lead research technician at the Hadoop Linux Research Labs. Today I'm going to show you how to install Git on Rocky Linux 9. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to install uh, the version control system Git on Rocky Linux 9. Okay, so what is Git, you ask? Well, uh, briefly, a Git is a distributed uh, version control system used in software development, and it tracks uh, changes to uh, to the source code and allows uh, multiple developers to collaborate efficiently. Git also stores a project's history as a series of snapshots, enabling easy branching, merging, and, and, uh, and rollback. It also promotes a collaboration. Git integrity, code integrity, and the ability to uh, work offline. Developers can uh, also commit changes to their local repos, their local Git repos, and then synchronize that with a central one, and that being the remote, the remote repo on on GitHub.com. Uh, this decentralized nature ensures data redundancy and flexibility. Uh, Git's popularity stems from its speed, scalability, and uh, its robustness, uh, making it uh, an essential tool for modern software development teams. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at our Rocky installation desktop here, Rocky Linux on XFace desktop environment. And we're going to verify that we actually are on Rocky 9. Okay. Rocky 9, and then some other information, the kernel. So uh, we ver uh, verified um, the, you know, the OS and the kernel versions. Rocky Linux 9, kernel 5.14. Okay. So we've uh, verified some things of our, uh, some, um, some details about our, our environment here. Now we can also use the, um, Terminal commands to come up with the same um, detail, uh, the info that we just saw in the NeoFetch. I can use some terminal commands to get the same information from the system, from the file system. So let's try that. Let's just see what that come. Let's see what that shows us. Okay, let's try this one here. So the cat's gonna dump out all the contents in this uh, file here to the screen. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, same thing. Instead of giving us a uh, Everything that the the NeoFetch gives us, it just, this just pulls that one item out. Okay, nine point two. Okay, good. And then the 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 uh, the the uname command with the R switch. You can go a uh, uname by itself. It gives you a whole bunch of uh, different details. Another switch would be A. The flag I want is the R flag or the R switch or the R option. And that just gives me that just returns the um, the kernel version. Okay. Same thing that we saw in NeoFetch. You can just this is this the way to get that information in the terminal here in the command line. Okay, we're good there. So we're clear on that. And there's just a couple of uh, commands. It's very um very uh, very short here. And then uh, probably after this one, after I show how to install Git, there'll be um, a couple more videos. I'll make it like a Git series on, on on how to use Git on Rocky. First set the first uh, video here will probably be uh, Git, uh, you know, just installing Git. And then there's another maybe another video for a uh, you know actually how to use it, uh, Git server setup, and and then uh, just how to you know how, how to use the Git commands, you know, just using Git basically once we've installed it. Just some basic uh, Git uh, commands and and you know how to use Git. It can be pretty um, can be pretty intense. I mean, there's a lot of a lot of commands. I use probably only a handful myself. I get by with those. Okay. Anyway, let's go ahead and um, let's install Git. Okay. Um, Git um, gets the Git um, the Git command line in engine it is available. In the standard uh, DNF repo DNF uh, well yum and and uh, DNF repositories, uh, so we can install it by uh, executing either yum or DNF. I'm going to go with DNF. 
I'm not really using yum. I'm pretty much using DNF. According to all the documentation I've read, it's like DNF is the way to go. So I'm going to use DNF to install Git. Okay. So since I'm in a regular user prompt here and not a root, uh, you know, the hash mark, I'm not in a root, uh, I'm not logged in as root, I'm going to have to use sudo. So we're going to go and uh, invoke sudo dnf install a y switch, which means I just won't be prompt to um, install it. I think that's what that pretty much does. Without it, it would probably prompt you and say, do you want to install git or, or install this package or whatever. But by putting it in there, it'll just go ahead and automatically just do everything. Okay, that was pretty quick. And see, we weren't prompted. Okay. So we'll clear on that. And it was actually was outputted there. You saw the, the actual version that was installed. But just to... If you just want to do it at any given time, you just want to see what version of Git you're on, pretty much on any distro. Pretty much, I think this this uh, command here will probably work on probably most, if not all, distros, regardless of what family they belong to. So Git dash dash version, and that just returns the uh, the version back, two point three nine. Uh, I'd have to look it up to see what. Um, what version Git actually is on? I didn't do that before I started the video, so I don't know what version they're on. But that's pretty good, I think. So you'd want to check and see what version of Git, you know, is the most current version, or just use whatever version is here. This one might be a tad behind. I think Rocky kind of lags behind a little bit, so I wouldn't be surprised if it was a tad behind. But it looks pretty, pretty, pretty new to me, I think. Okay, so that was um, that was it. Uh, that was installing uh, Git, you know, the command line engine on uh, Rocky Linux 9. So, you know, we checked a couple things in the, uh, you know, about the uh, the environment. And then I used DNF to install it. And then, um, and then the, uh, the Git dash dash version command to get the actual version that was, that was installed. And then we can, not right, not now, but later I will... You know, key in git and start passing commands into it and actually using it. Uh, add, commit, push, you know, basic stuff like that. And you can see it works, it's working. Got the usage here. That's always a good sign that you can use it, actually. It's on the, it's on the path and it's actually available to be used. Okay, so that was how to install a um, the Git command line interface engine on on Rocky Linux 9 and in my next couple of videos I'll probably show how to actually use it okay so I'm Paul and I am the lead research technician here at the uh, how to Linux research labs and I thank you for uh, subscribing and, and watching and I look forward to your comments and your feedback thank you